All right, so we just uh, installed this Archer Components Trail D1X electronic shifter on this XTR drivetrain. Uh, I just wanna go through a couple things on how we installed it and uh, a couple like tips and installation instructions because it was a little tricky uh, initially, but it's super easy once you get it. Um, comes with everything you need that was in the box. This one's already put on, so you have your shifter here where the battery's connected. It comes with the internal cable and this housing to connect to your derailleur. Uh, and then it comes with a shifter pod that has really nice ergonomics up here. The shifter pod mounts with any SRAM mounting. So uh, this is a Shimano brake, but I have a wolf tooth uh, shifter mount. So it mounts right to the brake. Um, so it's nice and clean. But if you don't have the that, you, it does come with its own little mount. So you can put it on without that. So it runs through real smooth. To set it up, we just had to open up this Archer Components app, which is right here and it will connect, it'll let us pair, and we will set up all our parameters here so we can go through the gears and tune it here. So this app will let us tune each gear individually so we can get minimal hesitation, no clicking in between gears. And this actually shifts through the gears and then we have our a little micro adjustments right here. And in the settings app, there's a lot of cool features um, where you can hit the shifter. So the shifter can either, this can go down the cassette uh, and this goes up the cassette or you can reverse it where this goes up the cassette and this goes down the cassette. Uh, it has a quick shift option. So uh, right now I have it set up when you hold the shifter, it's gonna jump up two gears uh, either way uh, or jump down two gears either way, but you can do up to five gears at once and you can also adjust the button press delay. So you know, how quick the shifter is gonna react after you depress the button. It also has like an overshoot button um, this will make the motor shoot past the gear into the next gear. Uh, I, that helps if your chain of cassette is a little bit worn and you wanna get past it or you're out on a ride and you just need to make it through to the next ride until you can get your equipment corrected. Um, but the overshoot mo mode, it says to use in controlled environments because I, I guess it's it, it could cause hesitation or not hesitation or it could cause you know mischiefs. Coolest features I thought that I haven't seen in any electronic group set is this one has a get me home gear. So uh, while your battery, it, it, when your battery is about to die, uh, what happens is this goes into uh, kind of like a limp mode uh, and it will automatically put it in a gear that you set on this app. Um, and on this one, I put it right in the middle so this would be my get me home gear. Um, still can climb with that, still can pedal on the flats. Uh, you can turn that on or off. And then it also has a shutdown and wake up uh, adjustment and timer. Um, this, so that you can make it light or hard. Um, in the, their setup instructions, it says that, um, they put that on there so when the battery goes into sleep mode, uh, it stays in sleep mode to preserve battery. So if you got your battery hooked up and you're on like a car rack, uh, the car is gonna be bouncing around, the bike's gonna be bouncing around, and your battery's gonna be awake. Uh, not gonna be taking too much of a draw, but I mean, there is potential to lose some um, battery power. So you can make it so it's really hard so it doesn't get woken up on the back of like a car rack um, or you can make it really light so when you shake the bike. A couple notable features that I noticed just setting it up is that 
Uh, I tried hooking it up to my Wahoo, uh, like other electronic group sets, so you can see what gear you're in uh, while you're riding. Uh, this one, unfortunately, does not have that capability, uh, or I'm doing something wrong, but I could not get it to recognize on the Wahoo uh, what gear indication I, I am in, and I have seen nothing of that on the instructions. Uh, and then also the shifter, sometimes you have to wake up the shifter uh, manually. It won't, if the bike sits for like half an hour, like you guys take a break uh, and you wanna go back out, you might have to uh, open up the shifter uh, or turn the shifter back on. Even though this wakes up on its own, the shifter itself will require you to kinda hit the button, you hit it once and uh, it flashes and then it will flash orange once it's hooked up and now you're ready to shift. Uh, another note is that the shifter will not hook up if you are connected to the app, um, to the unit. They did this purposely so they said there's no interference with shifter uh, and device. So if the shifter is hooked up, you will not be able to open the app. If the app is opened up, you will not be able to shift using the shifter. Uh, you can also micro shift, like you, like I said, you can do in the app on the shifter, just like um, the SRAM. You're gonna hit the button on the front and then you tap it once to go up or you tap it once to go down. So it's very user friendly once you get it set up. And uh, I'm going to go through actually setting it up because unlike, uh, other electronic group sets that are pre-programmed, all you gotta do is hook them up and then fine tune them. This one takes a little bit longer to set up, um, but once you figure out how to do it, it's really easy and it's probably more um, adjustable than anything else. And uh, we can go into that now. All right, so I'm now going to go over the initial setup after you get everything hooked up on the bike and now you have to tune it to your bike. Um, then be, you have to tune every gear individually because this is set up for pretty much unlimited drive trains. Like this is a 12 speed, but you can also hook it up to an 11 speed or a 10 speed. Uh, and then you just fix the sh uh, shift metrics each gear at a time. Um, and then, so I'm gonna go to new configuration. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna initialize the motor. Uh, and that's gonna put you into the home gear, which is your 10 tooth cog or 11 tooth cog, whatever gear range you're working with. Um, and then you're gonna go to, you can proceed with the wizard, that'll kind of give you a step-by-step -step directions, but we're gonna do that now so there's no need. So right now we're using a 12 speed cassette. If you were using an 11 or a 10, that's where you would adjust that now. Um, but we're using a 12, so we're gonna go to the next here. Um, this is the part that was a little confusing to me. It took me a little bit to figure out. Uh, this is how you jump from gear to gear. And I wasn't, when I first did it, I couldn't get the shift and I didn't understand why. And the instructions probably went through it, but I just had a little bit trouble understanding them. Um, but this is each gear here. Uh, and then you're gonna tune it. So how you tune it is, Obviously we're in the home gear now uh, and it's it's fine. There's no clicking, there's no ticking, so it's lined up good. Uh, and then we're gonna go to uh, your, our next gear up. And what you do is now you're gonna tune your metrics of this gear. It, this will jump it up until it jumps up into the cog. So we did that. And if you have, it now jumps up into the cog and now you can actually shift from you know, your 12 to your 11 on your cassette. And uh, if it's clicking or ticking, you can use micro adjustments. So you can go up to like 145. And then when you're happy with that clicking and there's, you know, lined up, it sounds nice and smooth, you now can go to the next gear and you're gonna now adjust those metrics. And I just do it as I'm pedaling, kind of wait till it jumps up in there and we'll jump down the next gear and then we'll jump back up to make sure it shifts up nice and smooth. That gear is good. Now we're gonna go to the next gear. So just keep pedaling. 
It's in there nice. You can go down and jump back up. Make sure it shifts in nice and smooth. I'm gonna go to the next gear now and just repeat the process all the way up the cassette. So now we have all our gears set. Uh, it should shift fairly good through all the cassettes, but what I'm gonna do is just run through to make sure there's no weird drops, no hesitations, no dropping into two cogs and coming back up. I wanna make sure they shift in real nice and smooth. So we got that. What's up? Not so much. Little hesitation there. So what I want to do in that one, just kind of micro tune it a little bit. And we'll go up, shift it a little, I'm a little happier with that. So I'm done with that, I'm happy with that. Um, now, if you were installing it for the first time, you're going to uh, pair your shifter and then you can set up all your metrics in the settings. So I have the get me home gear, it's still the same, I'm gonna leave that right in the middle. Um, shut down, wake up. So it's gonna shut down, you know, mine will shut down after, let's go with 15 minutes of not riding. And the wake up force is, Keep it pretty light. I'm, my bike's pretty stationary, uh, so we'll set that there. Um, quick shift. I like. I'm just going to go two and two. Two up, two down. I have it on reverse shift, so reverse shift is going to be. Uh, this will make it easier. So it will go up your cassette. This will make it harder. So it will go down your cassette. Uh, if you have normal shift on, this will make it go down. This will make it go up. Uh, and then, like I said before, to connect the shifter, you have to not be using the app. If you're, the app is open and the device is connected to your phone and the app, you, you can press the button all you want. It's just not gonna connect. You just disconnect and ride. And then what you're gonna do is hold your shifter until it flashes green. And you know your shifter's connected when the last two blinks are orange. Uh, after that, all the settings that you made, are good to go. And you can go out and test ride it. So that's the overview of the Trail D1X on a Shimano drivetrain. This one's XTR. If you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.